What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is Akafalos here and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Ruin King. So as usual, if you guys want to enjoy it, consider leaving a like as well as hitting that big red sub button down below so that you don't miss future uploads here on the channel. I really appreciate it as well, so thank you for doing so or if you've already done it. And in that being said, let's quickly jump right back in and let's get things started. So here we are in the uh, Grey Harbor area, if I'm not mistaken. Or are we not in Grey Harbor? Give me a second. Let me double check the map. Uh, no, we are not yet in Grey Harbor. We are approaching Grey Harbor. Um, so yeah, we are there to, I believe... I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing in Grey Harbor, but <laughs> let's just go ahead and find out. First of all, let's go ahead and I think we can make a couple saves as well as um, pick up a couple loot. So yeah, we're going to do that. I think I want to switch to Alawi as well. I think she runs much faster than Braum. Um, and I think, yeah, her mobility is much better. I'm not really sure, but it just feels that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out uh, these, this rest point here. Let's go ahead and select a rest. I am I think we're at full health, but I just want to make sure that we uh, fill up our health. And hold on, looks like there is a rest conversation. Let's go ahead and check it out. Enjoying the warm breeze? Mm, the truth. Brom misses the Freljord's cold embrace. A cold embrace? That does not sound appealing. The Freljord is a harsh land, but survival has a way of bringing people together. Telling stories by the fire, hunting Elnuk by moonlight. And the Buru? What brings you together? The Mother Serpent, the sea. We serve the goddess and she blesses us with an endless harvest. Many of her blessings are quite delicious. Ah, <laughs> nothing brings people together like a delicious meal. In the Freljord, a mighty warrior named Olaf once felled a great frost serpent and made it into a stew. It fed his whole village for months. <laughs> now you've made me hungry. Then follow Brom's stomach. Let us see what we find. <laughs> that was nice. Um, I'm not sure if there will be, you know, further cutscenes like that. Or, you know, if we get more champions, we might be able to see more cutscenes like that. Not really sure, but I guess we'll have to ch uh, leave it out for later. Let's go ahead and loot some of these chests first. Um, there we go. Um, if we can pick it up, of course. Hold on one sec. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's loot some of these chests since they're, uh, you know, they're basically lying about. Why can't we pick this up? Why the hell can't we pick this up? Alright, there we go. Okay. Alright, and looks like we have a vendor here, if I'm not mistaken. Locate vendor. A uh, vendor. Browse wares. No, we don't need a tutorial. Okay, so looks like we have some stuff we get that we can purchase. I am not going to purchase them because... Um, I don't think I would like to purchase anything right now. Actually, hold on. This Tavern Brawler might be good. 59 true damage is actually very, very good, um, especially with bleed. But it is 20% chance, though, so I'm not really sure if I want that. Um, the, Buru, the Blue Flame Idol is basically basic, so I'm not going to go for it. Okay, I think I will just go ahead and grab the uh, Tavern Brawler. Why not? I think that would be good for Braum, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we can't really afford anything else. So, okay. Uh, we don't really need any of the accessories as well. I'm going to want to try to pick them up from chess. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and proceed. Area sealed off. Get away from the gate. I am a priestess of the Kraken. I go where I please without any man's permission. I don't care who you are. This gate's the only thing stopping mist creatures from getting through. Now get lost! Perhaps we should try a different approach? We don't have time for this. Open your gate, or I will tear it down. Fine, lady. It's your funeral. Opening the gate! Stand clear! There. A more direct approach. Not quite what I was expecting, but effective. Something's coming. The 
They will learn or they will die. Okay, I probably should have equipped Rom earlier, but you know what? It's fine. I think we should be able to deal some damage with this, uh, you know, with this particular shield. Uh, we'll probably use the um, other shield later on. So, anyway, uh, let's see what we can do here. Prime Mist Bomb on death deals heavy damage to all champions. The speed lane attack will disarm the bomb. So, the Mist Walker Sailor. Uh, let me just double check with the Inspect first. And nothing to the Villager. No buffs. Um, only to the Sailor. Okay. So, I think we will do... Speed damage, uh, lane damage first. We want to dispel the, uh, you know, the prime mist bomb. So let's go ahead and do Brom's uh, speed ability. I think. What the hell do we do? Um, I think Winter's Bite. I think. We push back the sailor, or we push back the. I've met more frightening words. No, I think we do this better. We push back the uh, Mish the Mistwalker Villager. Alawi's ability should be able to dispel the Mistwalker Sailor. We sacrifice one of the tentacle things, um, you know, the instant abilities where we cast the tentacles. But I think it should be fine. Or do we actually do this? I think this might be better. We do, maybe we do straight up lane damage. We do heroic leap. And we target everyone. No, no, because that's gonna, uh, the, the, uh, Miss Walker villages are gonna be still in the buff zone. So, yeah, I think we do the push. I think that'll be better. Okay, we do speed lane push to the Miss Walker villager. I am needing just a little time. Alright, so Alawi's gonna do lane damage and... Let's do harsh lesson. We don't have tentacles, but it's fine. It's, you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to trigger the Miss Bomb. Uh, if we take out the Miss Walker Sailor, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Hmm... No, actually this will be better. I'm sorry, I'm very fickle right now because I'm trying to think of which is the right approach. Um, I think we do instant damage straight up. And we do it to the Sailor. It won't die, but we should have a 100% chance of summoning a tentacle. We should be more, you know, we should be able to deal more damage in the next turn. Um, no, actually, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I think that's better. We do Tentacle Smash, okay. It's fine. Alright, awesome. This was what I wanted. So we don't... So the uh, Mist Bomb hasn't triggered yet. So now since we have a tentacle, we do lane damage. And we do Harsh Lesson Speed. We will do it to the Miss Walker Sailor. The first lesson. And we will do lane damage. Let's do Heroic Leap, I think. We will try to take out everyone or... No, I think we do this. We do uh, Winter's Bite still be smashed. to the uh, Miss Walker Villager. Awesome. Take some damage. It's okay. Well, we should take her out. Oh, not enough. Oh my god, it's alright. Um, I thought that would have been enough with the technical bonus and stuff, but it's okay. Uh, we do King Castle Blow instant to the Miss Walker Sailor and it should die. There we go. Okay, looks like a new enemy. Um, Shadow Caller. Let's check it out what it does first. Inspect and Shadow Caller. Okay, Looming Curse. On death curses the champion who killed it, dealing massive damage after three turns. So, okay, so it's um, essentially a time bomb. Um, Grasping Shadows deals moderate magic damage, deals light magic damage to all champions, and applies Feasting Darkness, causing them to take damage each time they are healed for five turns. Has a moderate kill cooldown. So this counteracts Alawi a bit. Um, so I think we will want to try to take this guy out first. This is possibly a priority target. The Miss Walker Sailor is also someone we have to take out. So yeah, we will try to work, thing, work around that. Uh, right now, none of which uh, are in the buff zone, so I think I would go with Alawi. Let's do Harsh Lesson. Let's try to get into buff zone. Um, we will do Harsh Lesson to... Shadow Caller.
is fine. Okay, Bromstone, we will do Heroic Leap and let's do power to everyone. Um, you know, to all the enemies. Okay, allow his turn again. Um, let me just double check what it does, the Feasting, the feasting Darkness um, that it says. Um, deals light and magic damage to all champions and applies Feasting Darkness, causing them to take damage each time they are healed for 5 turns. Okay, so... I don't think that would be... I don't think it's wise to heal, so I think we'll just work with that. Let's go ahead and do lane damage, I think, with Elawi. We'll do the Harsh Lesson again, and I think we should do it to... You are worthy of a story. Very we'll do... scary. We'll do power lane so that we are in the buff zone. Uh, I think we will do it to the uh, Shadow Caller again. Be gone, Shadow. An Ionian here. Such speed. And look who's joined the party, Yasuo. <laughs> okay, so I'll talk more about him later on when we, uh, you know, when we actually have the chance. Right now, let's focus on the battle. Ultimate abilities are now available to your party. These abilities are incredibly powerful and can change the course of battle. Performing instant abilities and lane abilities during a combat encounter will build the ultimate meter. This is the shared pool that anyone in your bar party can use to perform their ultimate abilities. The ultimate meter will reset each encounter. Be sure to use ultimate abilities wisely. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I think let's try. Let's try the ultimate ability since we can. Um, Storm Strike consumes up to 60 overcharge, dealing 186 damage plus uh, 12, point, uh, 12 damage per 10 overcharge consumed. We don't really have overcharge, but it's fine. We should probably check out Yasuo first before we do anything. Um, okay, we can't really check out anything, so it's all right. Let's go ahead and just do ultimate to... This guy, I think. Wonderful. Okay, so I was a bit concerned there because if you recall, we went with the um, attack to the uh, what was it, the Shadow Caller. So I wasn't sure if the game would automatically target the um, next available enemy when it takes it out, but you know, thankfully it did, so I'm not gonna complain. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, proceed. We get some nice amount of gold as well as some XP. And Braum levels up. Um, Yasuo and y Yasuo is still relatively early on. Uh, Ilawi on the other hand is very very close, so that's nice. Okay, an upgrade point and tier two upgrades to lots of his abilities. We'll check that out later. Then it is true, the Mistwalkers are indeed staring again in Grey Harbor. Our search did not take long. Yes, it was quite short. And we fought alongside an Ionian as well. <laughs> How fun! You're welcome. Now step aside. Swordsman, wait a moment. Your motion is quite intriguing. Those creatures were simply in my way. You head into Grey Harbor. Do you have any idea what you face? I don't care. I've got someone to find. Why not join us? We can search for your friend together! The mist is unlike any danger you have faced. Whoever you seek in Grey Harbor is likely dead. Speed will get you nowhere. It is true. Brom knows firsthand. It almost killed him! <laughs> Who's Brom? Brom is me! Ah. I see. So, Braum has fought these creatures before? Yes, near the Shadow Isles. They overwhelmed me, destroyed my boat. 
I shall soon return to face them again. This time, Brom will be ready. Hmm. If these things are giving a big guy like you trouble, maybe we should stick together. Uh, in that case, I'll help you. For now. Help us? <laughs> and your help is most welcome. Uh, what shall we call you? Yasuo. All right, so looks like we have a new party. How typical of Yasuo. Um, <laughs> what from what I know, of course, of uh, you know of him in the game and as well as a little bit of the lore. Uh, how typical. Um, <laughs> always the loner. Okay, so let's go ahead and read what is uh, what he does essentially. Yasuo has joined the party. Roll damage. So of course he's gonna be damaged. He is, after all, an assassin or a uh, top lane fighter in the uh, in League of Legends, of course. So yeah, an Ionian of deep resolve. Yasuo is an ag agile swordsman who wields the wind itself to strike with speed and precision. As a proud young man, he was falsely accused of murdering his master. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Unable to prove his innocence, he was forced to slay his own brother in self-defense. Now he searches for Ari, his mysterious Vestayan charge, determined to not repeat past failures. Okay, dungeon abilities. Yasuo can send out a tornado projectile with his dungeon skill tornado slash. Enemies hit by tornado slash take damage and have reduced haste as battle begins. Furthermore, Yasuo can use tornado slash to disperse mist and activate wind uh, powered mechanisms. Combat mechanics as a nimble and precise as the as nimble and precise as the wind itself. Yasuo has an additional chance to crit, though his crits deal less damage. Whenever Yasuo crits an opponent, he builds flow. Flow is consumed when Yasuo is hit to provide him damage shield. Yasuo's Steel Tempest ability grants him a buff of the same name. When Steel Tempest reaches four stacks, it allows Yasuo to feel to use his powerful raging wind or gathering storm spells for free. All right, awesome. So he is very similar to his uh, kit in League. I think they're all very similar to your kits in League, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited to use them. In fact, I'm going to select them right now. Um, there we go. There's the guy. <laughs> but those of you League of Legends fans, I think you'll know, you know, a lot of the references to him, um, especially the 0-10 power spike. Let's hope that does not happen in this game, if that even is possible. So um, let's go ahead and just uh, fool around with him a bit. I just want to go ahead and check in so with some of these, uh, you know, these people here. Maybe even pick up some of the other loots that wait, you know, the other stuff that's waiting for us um because we actually are running out of time so we have to go so yeah um interesting thing about yasuo is that uh, he was actually teased in the trailer as well for ruin king if you recall some of us uh you know league of legends fans will know um i think it was the trailer for his brother if i'm not mistaken um that you know teased a bit a little bit about ruin king so yeah the the how he arrived in Bilgewater really ties into that uh, particular backstory of um I believe the champion trailer for his brother in the game uh, for those of you who are of course new of course his brother is yone you can possibly check him out on youtube i think there's a trailer of uh, his brother's release but yeah just let you guys know if you guys are interested in the lore so anyway let's go ahead and speak with some of these uh, people here before we end the video let's see what they have to save us uh fortune sends mostly new recruits to work here it's one of the most boring gates with uh, intervals of utter terror reminds me of the time i spent being a soldier okay what about this guy if you've got no business in Grey Harbor, you'd best leave. This gate prevents people wandering out over there. More importantly, it prevents the bad stuff from coming in. Okay. What about this fellow? i never seen anyone come back from Grey Harbor. I get nightmares from the sounds of things over there. They don't pay us enough to stay here. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, we are running out of time, unfortunately. Uh, so we are going to have to end things here. Actually, hold on. Let me check out this uh, magnifying glass here. These weapons have gone dull from disuse. All right, I'm sure you are very familiar with uh, the condition of weaponry, um, Yasuo. <laughs> and uh, pr surprisingly, he is still barefooted here in Bilgewater. Always, you know, typical Yasuo. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I think end the video here because we are running out of time. We're about 19 minutes in. So uh, in the next episode, we're definitely going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, rest of Grey Harbor. And I believe we will help Yasuo find out his, uh, find his client, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at all that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this particular episode, consider leaving a like as well as hitting that big red sub button down below i really appreciate the support but most importantly you will miss future uploads here and the channel as well and with that being said thank you all for watching this is keflo signing off hopefully i catch you guys in the next one goodbye